hi all so today in this video we are going to see about decision object so in appian decision object is used to handle complex business logics okay uh, and in that like a simple if else condition that we used to write that as well can be created in the decision object as well and it, it the functionality is that it can do much more than that nested if else condition much more than that as well it can do it so let's try to see like how decision object works okay so in order to open any unnamed decision you can just open like unnamed rule only you can just you just have to write decision here and that's it and unnamed decision will get opened so now you once you open the decision object here you can see this is the interface for that here the inputs are there and output is there clearly it is visible like input is like kind of white background and output is kind of gray background something like this it is okay if you don't want the input you can delete them here in the right hand side this is the test input panel where the values will get tested whatever is the result that you got here it will get tested great okay and after that there is something called as hit policy okay so before going on the hit policy let's try to get a very simple example let's say like uh, in uh, like let's say like you are hungry and you want to order some food right so if you want to order some food uh, you have either Zomato, Swiggy or any other online food ordering app is there you applied their coupon you got some coupon as a welcome bonus something suppose 50 is there once you applied 50 you got a 50% discount something like this there is another coupon as well okay let's try to write this and you apply for 20 so you will get 20 percent discount if any other coupon is applied we will just print a message to the user like invalid coupon something like this now let's try to test this simple decision what does it mean in order to test it I have to write a coupon code let's see I have a coupon code of 50 let's try to see what happens now let me try to test it and see here this is the output that we have got 50 one output and it is a type of text because the output is text but input and output are not limited to text only input is you can give any input boolean <coughs> as well decimal as well integer as well something like that even the output are of different types you can see Lo longer list than the input of right so even like uh, see these are the some basic data type that we are aware like boolean date time okay some document as well can be done here even the process model user groups all these can be configured in the output as well suppose in this condition only let's assume that apart from 50 you want to show one message to the user as well so you can just click on add output and you can print some message something as message you can write here and let's try to message here like okay congrats okay so something like congrats you got 50 percent discount something like this so simple message you want to print to the user and similarly we want to print some message uh, something like it is 20 right so let's say something is 20 percent discount now let me try to test it once you test it see here initially we got some output simple as text but now the type of our output is map okay and the data of the map something like this what is the output value and what is the input value this is the output value and this is the output value congrats you got 50 percent discount so similarly you can add min as many outputs okay you want as per your needs similarly you can have multiple inputs as well okay so something like this and see we got only one output here because coupon code was 50 we want trust but there can be other conditions as well when you want to return multiple uh, results like these are the different hit policies that decision follows so this if you see here once there is a hit it will show you this row is complete in green color and it will show the result as row one is a match so this was a map a match and it got it gave you the result 
similarly there are different heat policies as well for example first is the rule order is there let's see the definition of unique if you see the definition of unique it will tell you that returns the output for only one possible match so it will return only one possible match and all the rows must be unique all these rows has to be unique currently they are unique what if we uh, duplicate any rule let's try to okay let's not do it from here here only there is icon of duplicate row now let's try to enter it test it see it will give you an error like overlaps with three currently hit policy says that it all rows must be unique but we have made two rows which are not unique so in if you have such condition like there can be uni, like a, a duplicate rows as well you can change your hit policy to rule order let's check that it what it returns it says that returns output for all matches in the row order it returns for all possible matches and first is what it will return only the first match so that as well we will see it let's see changes to rule order now let's test it once again so see 50 it is returning what if I write 20 here so if 20 you can see here I have got two maps here one map again for this uh, for row 2 and one map for row 3 so this is how the rule order works it will give you all possible matches if two rows are matching it will return two here what if I change this to first then what happens let's see it let's change this condition to first now and now let's test it see here first return even row 3 is a match coupon 20 this value is available in here as well but it it is not returning as soon as it hit any row it stops there as well like this is the result because it the definition says that it will return only the first match so if any huge case is like like there can be multiple matches but I return but I want to return only the first match only then I want to stop my evaluation at a first match only then you can use this first match condition so this is how the three uh, hit policies of decision works if unique is there then it will return like it will only one row and all rows has to be unique but okay first is like it it will give the output it doesn't say like row need to be unique or not but it will say like okay it will return only the first match and rule order is something like it will return all the matches so like that it works okay so in here let's try to create a decision okay so what I am going to create here is after college we all have been to we all we all have given IIT exams right JE exams as well so let's okay so college predictors so what we will try to do here is we will try to make something like this only okay so in JE what happens is that after you write the exam uh, you get a rank and based on the rank only you get some you can say like colleges right so first input what I will do here is let's make it something as uh, rank so this will store the rank and rank can be we can take something as integer for that fine so this is rank and an output if you enter a rank here you will get some college list okay so something as college list or college you can consider fine so what I have done here is for the colleges I have created a constant so let me try to use that constant here so I have clicked on drop down so that I can have multiple values here fine and here there is something called as expressions so that I can call my constant directly so cons bang ys underscore college list same constant will paste here as well and we want that it should be multiple colleges so let I have made it an array fine so you can see all these are the this is the con college list is coming from a constant let's say if uh, your rank is from 1 to 100 obviously you might be a you might be a topper <laughs> I guess 1 to 100 is really great rank so what we will do here is from it is asking but here currently the operator is equal to but I want a condition something like from so here if you see in the operator list there is something as from as well there is something as between as well 
if you hover over it it will tell it is exclusive range and between is something as exclusive range and it is inclusive range so from is like if you write 100 then it will count 100 as well but in between like it won't it will be till 99 like something like this so let's take something as from now you can see here this whole input field is now divided into two parts so if your rank is something as 1 2 let's say something as 100 you are eligible for all the colleges right come on you are topper so you don't have to worry a lot anywhere you can go and you can uh, apply it I guess maybe they give some discounts as well if you are some kind of topper let me know like if you <laughs> any of you are from uh, NITs or not or IITs fine let's see it something like this rank we have seen what if we something like some more rank is there from till 100 we have done so let's start from 101 to let's go to 500 so if you have like from 100 to 500 you might not be eligible for some top colleges so NIT, Trichy, Karnataka these are very top NITs let's say something as Durgapur, Nagpur they are eligible, Jaipur, Jadavpur they are eligible something like this after that let's consider again from and from 500 is done so let's scan 501 to you can say something as till from 501 to 1000 so our rank is increasing so number of colleges will also like a you know like decrease as the rank goes higher and after that we say like if the rank is greater than lastly let's say something as 1000 though they might be eligible for something as velour or I might not see like Patna, Jaipur, I'm really not sure about the ranking but uh, surely like bits planning Bo can also take something like this but then we have to increase some more colleges here <laughs> so that it won't be biased a bit fine number of colleges currently my hit policy is unique now let's say some participant come or not some candidate is there right he has given the exam and he got a rank of 250 let's see which college is eligible which are the colleges that it will he will get see these are the colleges that he or she will get in IT Nagpur, Durgapur, Jaipur, Jadavpur if the rank is 250 based on what business logic we have implemented here right if the rank is similarly let's say something as 1200 so 1200 is actually greater than 1000 so they will be eligible for these colleges but what if the uh, rank is like 100 or let's say something as 99 so they will be eligible for all these colleges all the colleges right so they won't have to wonder about any college so 10 items are there and all these colleges they are eligible great but the 99 rank will also be eligible these these colleges as well so something like a let's uh, let's remove some colleges from here from for this topper one now they will see that they are only eligible for five colleges but it's not like they can only apply to these five colleges they should be able to apply to all the colleges as well because they are topper obviously right they can apply they can just go to anywhere they want right so let's make so currently like unique hit policy it says like it will return only one row so what we have to do here is we have to change our hit policy so that we can get maximum number of results let's try to change this first let's try to change to rule order we have learned that in rule order all possible matches are returned let's try to test it once 99 let's give it but again we are seeing the same set of results so what we will do here let's change the conditions a bit if the rank is something like a less than or equal to 100 right so they will get these colleges if it is less than or equal to let's say something as 500 they will get these colleges if it is less than or equal to let's say something as 1000 that's it and if there it is greater than 1000 then they will get uh, these colleges only so let's try to give only two colleges at the last fine so these are now let's try to test in rule order so what rule order does is that it will return all the rows let's see what all rows are there so let's try to test it and you can see here we have got a total of 14 results right all these rows are a match what happens like how it worked was first of all 99 is our value it went and go, it went to the first row and it calculated that is 99 less than or equal to 100 
yes it is less than it is less than 5000 as well it is less than 1000 as well but the fourth condition like is 99 greater than 1000 no it is not so this was not a match but anyway three rows have been a match and whatever is match is it highlighted in green color right and all these are there okay so this is a kind of or uh, you can say like all matches but what if we keep it to first then what will happen okay let's test it so once you test it you can see here even though 99 fulfill this second and third condition as well but still it it if as soon as row 1 is a match it, it stopped there only it didn't evaluate the next expressions okay so this is what happens in first all the values are like even it is a match doesn't matter it will only evaluate the first result only okay so this is how like different things are there and we can call this rule okay in you can say like kind of interfaces as well if you if you uh, can configure any interface okay so if you configure any interface you can call them as rule bank okay so let's say something as uh, some text field is here and we want to enter some data so you can just call them as local variables okay and local bank you can say something as uh, college right so something as college and rule bank ys underscore college predictor something as let's say predictor fine and see it needs some okay college but okay i haven't saved it let me save the changes and let's test it once again okay fine so now it is only saying rank let's give some hard coded rank as 99 here once we have given 99 here whatever the value let's try to show it here so if you go in the value local bank college you can show easily here and you will see that all the values whatever is there it will show you all the value of the colleges that you are eligible for so five college items you are eligible for you will get five colleges similarly uh, okay so because currently hit policy is five let's change this to rule order and let's save our changes once we save our changes let's test it here and here again let's give 99 here and this time see 14 colleges are there so this is how you can configure them in this as well okay and uh, okay so this is how the value can be represented in the interfaces as well so this was just a kind of demo purpose but you can properly configure it so i guess the major major part was to understand the hit policy how these different hit policies work okay so that's all for now thank you